guys, we... Oh, oh go! Oh. Hi. I have been so stuck in a rut with social media in general. Like, I just don't know what to upload. And I know I've been like this for quite a while. I keep telling you guys on Instagram about it. I actually mentioned that I'm not really into like fashion and makeup the same as I used to be. I don't know. I think it's not just me who's gone through this phase. I think in general, like YouTube used to be all about makeup tutorials and now it's not really. It's just such a mix of things. Or at least my YouTube isn't really like that anymore. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is like, I feel like I've grown and my content has... um all my interests have changed and um, you guys seem to really like my vlogs so I thought I would pick up the camera and just start vlogging like I literally put up a story saying what would you guys like to see so many people said vlogs and I just put it up like an hour ago and I thought okay let me just pick up the camera and vlog in the middle of drying my hair by the way period paint update it's actually not been as bad recently and I don't know what has caused this. I did do a bunch of different things like for like a month and then it kind of calmed down. I think it was mainly just the food I was eating, um, just basically eating better and stuff. And what else did I do? I also took inositol for a little bit. But that actually messed up my periods. So I don't really know if that helped. Or maybe that was like resetting something. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to put it down to one thing because I really don't know what it was. I, it might have just been a stroke of good luck. A stroke of luck. A stroke of good luck. But yeah, I went in for another internal scan and they couldn't find any cysts. So I don't really think I have PCOS. I think I just had cysts when I had my previous scan and they just kind of come and go and I think I can actually tell when I have cysts because it's like my periods are a lot more painful I feel like I get random sharp pains and it's almost like I can feel the cyst it's very uncomfortable um so yeah I think I'm just one of those people that get cysts sometimes maybe I do have PCOS I have no idea it's a really hard one to diagnose anyway just thought I'd give you that update I'm doing my hair and I'm gonna, what I normally do is, when I'm air wrapping, is I just kind of rough dry my hair and then I go in with this attachment just to smooth my hair. I don't really curl it or round brush it that much. Um, I do if I'm going somewhere, but if I'm just staying at home, I just like doing this to smooth my hair, get rid of the frizz and it just looks a little bit neater. I always use these two products before I dry my hair. The Thirst Aid. So this is really good for detangling and conditioning my hair. Um, it's good because I um, lose a lot of hair when I brush my hair, so something like this is really good. And then I use either something like this, which is a blow dry frizz protect type of cream, or then the Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. That's in my suitcase at the moment, but I really, really, really love that to add volume. So my hair is mostly dry, like 90% dry. And then I just finish it off with this basically, but it's kind of good to separate your hair for this so that you can really get into the roots. I've been watching Samantha Maria again on YouTube and I used to like watch her all the time when I was younger and I don't know what happened, like just, I'm sure there's people like dip in and out of watching um, influencers. But yeah, I've been enjoying her vlogs recently and also Amelia Liana's. But it's so hard because so these are kind of like people in my industry, right? So it's not really that relaxing to watch because it's like I'm constantly thinking, okay, I need to make this content, I need to do this, I need to work hard and try and get partnership, blah, blah, blah. So it's not really a good relaxation activity, but then it's not really a work activity either. Is it? Like you can't just sit and watch vlogs and be like, oh, this is work. Anyway, I am enjoying watching those vlogs. But I think I should take them in small doses so that I don't, like, compare myself too much. I really try and get close to the roots when I'm doing this because otherwise this part of my hair is always really wiggly. And I use the highest heat setting and the highest temperature. So that's all I do with the air wrap. It just kind of 
neatens my hair and then I finish off with the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. I've had this for so long and look how full it is because you literally need the tiniest amount. If you use too much your hair is going to get greasy so it's literally like one dab is enough and I only really like to use it on the ends. I think stuff like this does help with like the health of your hair. Olaplex is really good, like I really enjoyed using the shampoo and conditioner, I feel like it actually does something. And I do use it here because this part of my hair gets split in so easily. I'm really enjoying having layers again, like I used to have layers when I was younger and then the whole blunt cut trend came in and it was nice and whatever but I feel like my hair needs body so I'm enjoying it. Right, I'm gonna crack on, I have a campaign to shoot and it's so depressing, it's like almost dark outside and it's only 2.39 anyway see you in the evening which is in like an hour right guys it's evening now oh Alma's here hello um we're gonna go for a little shop because I want to make fish and I don't like getting fish beforehand I feel like in my head it's not as fresh which is true it's not as fresh but like i like getting it from the fresh counter um, i want to make like this oh my god i've been making this it's this <laughs> my mouth's watering it's like this lemon butter cod very few ingredients i might put some parsley or some other kind of dried herbs on it this time maybe and um some veggies because i feel like we don't get enough veggies so Oma said he's not going to have dinner, but I think he is. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, it's boring eating. Isn't it? I had a really late lunch. Hungry? Jillia? Let's go. Guys, we were just walking to the car, and then I see this guy walking with a box of flowers, and he walks right past us, and I, I say to Oma, oh, I wish they were for me, <laughs> just as a joke. And then we just turn around to see which house he goes towards, because he was a delivery guy, and then he knocked on our door, and then... Um, <laughs> I was so happy and then um, I, I turned around and I was like hi and he goes oh do you live here and I was like yeah I was just saying to my husband that I wish those flowers were for me so thank you Suku this has made my evening oh they're proper like frosted and like glittery I've got to say I love this time of year for gifting not gonna lie oh oh get a little little it's a makeup brand, babe. Yeah, right. he, he loves a little perfume gifting. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I love it. That is stunning. The, the camera is not doing this justice. And you know Suku shadows actually swatch beautifully as well. Like the glitter, the shimmer is actually, you know, what you get on your lid. Oh, that's a really nice apricotty blusher. Oh, oh my. oh my god, that is such a beautiful colour. I love all these tones. Love the flowers. Okay, we're actually going to go shopping now. Take two. I don't have anything with pumpkin or butternut squash. Those are the two things that I want. I'm not eating tonight anyway. This is for tomorrow. Don't eat even tonight. I just want. Personally, I think that pumpkin and butternut squash do not belong in any savoury dishes. So you think they're dessert? Yeah. Pumpkin oh. dessert. That's a dessert. It's like a fruit. I like them in ravioli, personally. I want sage now. We need to go back to the veggies and I need to get some sage. is cooked or not it looks undercooked to me but i put it in the oven for so long so 
I'm just hoping it's cooked because it's like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> good night. We good morning actually. We are heading to our little kill coffee shop, which is a really good coffee. The Do best. I don't know what Alma would do without this, to be honest. Yeah. He'd like cycle it 20 minutes down to get to the next best place. Isn't it? Uh, it's got 10 minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I always go to Tesco and I always say that I'm going to get the almond croissant but then I always see the pan croissant and I get both, don't I? Elmo, which one should I have? Uh, pan Do you want one? No thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, I've had the corona. What usually happens is I have the almond croissant and then <clears throat> I tell myself I'll come back to the pan of chocolate later but it's already gone. <laughs> don't know where it goes. So I'm ready, I haven't really done my hair, it's just the air up thing that I did yesterday but I don't really like very straight hair on me. It lasts like a day and then it just looks greasy because it's like, you know, it doesn't have any texture to it. I think I'm going to keep my hair like this. And then I'm going to film a little ad and then we're going to go to the British Library to get work done. <laughs> Change of plans, Alma had to go into work, so I am just gonna, I'm gonna make lunch and then I'm gonna actually go to Argos and get a screwdriver and build some Ikea furniture because I've been meaning to get this stuff sorted for so many months and kind of reconfigure my wardrobe and I just needed to buy some more bits like a mesh basket and stuff like that, so time to sort that out. I'm gonna make this ravioli that I got yesterday, but this cooks in three minutes. I really wanna have some of these carrots. Bloody hell, they're frozen. I need to turn down the temperature of the fridge, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna boil these a bit and then roast them because I wanna like glaze them with honey and then have them like oven roasted, but that's gonna take so long. So I think I might just have to boil them first. Oh, and I'm gonna make a butter sage sauce. And so the ravioli, oh my God, butter sage sauce is probably like my, I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite pasta sauce. Very big claim because I love pasta, but it's definitely up there. when it's a serving for two, but you kind of want the whole thing to yourself. Because then, like, if I have 
more than half then I'm definitely not gonna have the rest because that's just like a little snack and who has pasta for a little snack? I'm gonna make the whole thing. Hey Siri, set a timer for th three minutes. Started too. Lunch is served. I've never made a butter sage sauce before. Oh my god, that's so good. I don't think I should have sage with every bite though. I just put a lot on because it looks really bare without it. And maybe a little bit more butter would be good. Maybe that amount of butter is good for like half a portion. Which is how much I had, but I made the full packet. And this ravioli is really good. Okay, let me try some of the carrots. They're good, but I would put more honey on them next time. Okay, see you later. Impromptu date night. Omar's planned this one. Where are we going? We're going to Canary Wharf. Um, there is some um, like fun fair type arcade thing where they have like, different activities. Like a very typical kind of date night kind of thing. There was a Dishoon stall there, five, and it was even there yesterday. There's a Dishoon the there now, isn't there? Oh yeah, there's a Dishoon there! Should we go there? It's probably a busy thing. I think it'd be rude not to pay a visit. <laughs> They've got like a, a Dishoon store little like pop-up thing outside Waitrose and we were literally there yesterday. Is that what you were looking at? No. Uh, but like, they just, uh, yesterday was the last day. It was only Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, nice. And it's got all the little things that I'm going to get in a hamper. I'm so excited for this hamper. It's got like a calendar and the chai and the two glasses. Where that did you get thing. this from? The PRT. How did you manage that? I don't know. I just got my email. So you emailed them after that you saw that yesterday? No, they just emailed me saying, do you want the Dishoom hamper? And all that after email. that thing yesterday? I didn't see it yesterday. Oh, yeah. But I saw it on the Instagram that it's there today. Like, it was there for the past few days. I'm rambling. Anyway, we'll see you at... Um, well, are we going to shoot or...? It's probably busy. We're probably not going to shoot, but... We'll see you after that. Can you guys please pray that we go to the shoot? Because I really want to shoot. Because you want to five guys. No, or I don't bird. want. I'm just being realistic about what you can go to on a Friday Ooh. night without a reservation. I should do vlogmas, shouldn't I? Mm. Bit late for that, love. Yeah, halfway through December. Guys, this is so nice. They've got a whole teetotal menu at the bar. I think most of them contain no alcohol, but some of them have a little bit. Just be careful, but this one is what I would get as my last meal drink. And, uh, but this is what I've ordered because I always, always, always get this, so yeah. Pretty good. Oh, I've got this so I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the garlic stretcher, but amazing. And I've got the passion fruit one. We don't do that. Spilt it on myself. It's amazing, isn't it? That's so good. It's so flipping good. It tastes so nostalgic. Because I used to get this like a black salt thing from Pakistan from the corn shop called Churan. Yeah. So good. That is banging. This is also really good. Battery's low. Guys, 
guys, we were just walking back to the car and we were having a conversation and I looked mid-sentence and I stopped speaking because this chocolate swirl, it just kind of changed my life. So Omar's got it for me. I was feeling quite guilty about it because I was feeling a bit sick like 10 minutes ago and I was saying to him I really like it but I was feeling sick so I shouldn't really get it and he was like shall I get it for you and you can have it on the weekend Aww. so I'm gonna have it on the weekend but I'll probably just have it in the car <laughs> the week is not complete without a climbing session so we are here at Myland Climbing Wall it's one of Omar's favourites is it? yeah it is I'm gonna belay him so I've got my harness ready and stuff and my carabiner and my gris gris and my belay sunglasses I'm a proper professional at this now So we've done climbing. Well, what usually happens after that is Omar's starving, mm. uh, but I'm quite hungry as well. And um, we've always seen this restaurant across the river. It's an Italian, Ciao Bella. And the climbing gym is just there, so we always see it, but we've never been. And today we're actually gonna go. And I said to Omar, like, can you check the reviews? I check the reviews and it's meant to be really good. So I'm excited to eat there. This is a very nice view. We're so close to um, uni, mm. my uni. I went to Queen Mary. We'll uh, update you once we hopefully get seated. It looks very busy, but I was wrong about the shoe yesterday. It was so good. Oh, I was also having it. How was it? Amazing. His salmon was really good too. Where is it? Oh, right, this is the place. But yeah, this place is really good. Ciao Bello in Milan. Wow. So cold now and frosty. And I should have got a hat and everyone told me to. And I was like, no, I'm going to leave it. And now my head's cold and his head's warm. <laughs> Do you want this one? Oh, <laughs> come here, you little cutie. Is that why you ran away? Are you embarrassed? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, do you think it's gonna snow? Yeah, it looks like it. Because it wouldn't be frosty if it wasn't below freezing. Oh my god, I think it's gonna snow! What do you mean today? Like, the next precipitation should be snow according to this frosty log. Don't you think? That's a mad geography, I don't really understand that. Guys, we're in London Fields now. By the way, we picked up Omar's brother, Imran. Omar's also here. We're trying to find me a book because I asked you guys on Instagram what book to read and a lot of you guys suggested um, freaking what's the name? What's the name? Not that one. Oh my god. Something. It ends with us and like I can't, I can't, it's just too, it's not for me. 
I'm just going to say that because I know there's a lot of fans of that book out there. Um, and then another one you guys suggested was Where the Crawdads Sing. And this one I can't really get into. I might give this one another go, to be honest. But the other one I'm like more than halfway through, I think. And I'm just not not having fun. Oh, might introduce me to Murakami and I'm just like obsessed with um, Norwegian wood. Or was it Imran? Imran introduced it to Oma, and Oma introduced it to me. Anyway, it's really good. If you haven't read it, it's really good. This one was so good, oh my god. Oma suggests I read this one. Do you have it at home? Which is it? This place is good. So guys, we just got home. This is the book that I went for. I really like Elizabeth Day, so... I thought I'd give it a go. I've read the blurb quite a few times when I've been looking for a book and I just thought, okay, I'm actually going to pick it up this time and give it a go. So I'll let you know how I get on with this. Guys, we... Oh, oh go! Oh. Watching the game. <laughs> um, England's playing France. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Do you want to say bye to the vlog? Do you want to say bye to the vlog? Bismillah, that's good. Oh.